What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Spencer. Taking a look at this Dogmatica, it's almost like Invoke Dogmatica should all without the Invoke part. You know, the cool thing about Invoke is that it's like it's such a small engine, right? It only takes up six cards and it does some pretty cool stuff. It also works really well with Parallax Seed, which also works great, you know, with a little Heat Soul package. But, you know, I think that there is a better way to go about it because Parallax Seed is so good you can kind of do almost exactly what Invoke does, uh, but a little bit more consistently. Uh, so, I, you know, four mid skipper can turn into anything, so now I can go and get Lightheart, which also searches me Parallel Exceed. Okay, so now you can activate the field spell. This is gonna give you Reichheart, which of course can special summon itself and search a monster reborn, which we will definitely be able to use. Now you can change these into any two, like any two link to Cybers monster. Uh, this is like one that technically has an effect. You could use going second, right? It's just going straight to the graveyard. Couldn't really think of anything else. Uh, so th this is just like one of the better options uh, because obviously Heat Soul needs two Cyber Monster with different attributes. It's not just like any three monsters. Okay, so I can go ahead and reborn this and then you can go into basically your rank four of choice. Now I'm going to use Tornado Dragon, but honestly what I would probably use is Abyss Dweller. Because if you can see this hand, I'm going to have like a really good end board that probably is going to include the ritual spell or the ritual monster uh, for Dogmatica. And if your opponent just is playing in like an extra deck, basically, you know, that takes advantage of that, uh, like Nadir's Servant and like whatever the case may be, maybe even it's like Fallen of Albaz, you finally have the answer for like the biggest weakness for the ritual card. Uh, you know, no one really wants to send half their extra deck unless it's literally like Labyrinth. Uh, but if it's Fallen of Alvaz, obviously, I think it's a lot of, like, really good effects from it. But Abyss Dweller here can kind of, like, plug that hole in the big problem with, like, a really good card. Uh, so I think that's, like, pretty cool and, like, a big reason why it's probably better than the Invoked Engine. And obviously, you get access to Heat Soul, like, way more often. So you just end up, like, out-resourcing your opponent. Like, you know, the Ritual Monster obviously does a lot. You know, Maximus can, like, send two, and you can, like, search two cards like you're gonna have like Winda, um, and let's see if I what you know whatever I can draw, but I've just like gone through half of my deck. Like whatever I get off the top is probably gonna be a hand trap or you know something like the ritual spell. Like in this case, I got I can say kind of lucky, but at the same time, like look at how much I removed from my deck. Like there's a really good chance that I'm gonna have a great draw off the top. Uh, so many good graveyard effects. Like one of the, like a good tech option is the Irish Sword Soul. It lets you basically like destroy extra deck cards or draw two cards depending on where your opponent special summons. It's a decent form of interruption. Also, something that's worth mentioning, if you do use Piri Resmap, this is such a cool combo because you go to 2,000 life points so you can use Heat Soul Talker's like secret effect to banish itself after you've drawn the card. And then you can special summon a Cybers like Link. And a great option for that is IP Mascarena. So basically it turns into another interruption that you can use like Unicorn during your opponent's turn. Obviously during the course of that, I searched out Winda. And this is like a really powerful end board. Like as opposed to if I had uh, invoked in my hand, I wouldn't really be able to do this like literally at all. And like I said, at the same time, it helps you cover, you know, instead of Tornado Dragon Abyss Dweller, it covers up, you know, the ritual monster's weakness. Um, so if you don't have Piri Res Map, of course, most of these are going to be with the Formid Skipper, of course, because that's kind of like what the whole deck is. Otherwise, you've seen the Dogmatic and all stuff like a thousand times. Uh, another really good card that you can tech in is Duality. Uh, this is definitely something I'll be playing three of. It helps you basically cheat out Dragoon. Okay, so again, you can see the Formid Skipper stuff. This is pretty standard. I'm going to Special Summon, Search the Monster Reborn. You know, go into the Enforcer, which helps me go into Heat Soul, and then also a rank four. I think I also go into Tornado Dragon here, but I've already explained that. Okay, so that can turn into Heat Soul. There it goes there. And then here's the rank four. Okay, so now, you know, Maximus in the hand, of course, is just really, really good. I can search two. I almost always do this. You're just plussing so much here. Uh, Duality is already really good because that's going to turn into, you know, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. And off the top, I got, you know, my Dogmatic Ecclesia. I already had Nadir Servants. I had three copies of Ecclesia in the deck. So very high chance I was going to open something. It's basically that or a hand trap. And there we go. Like, you know, basically your opponent would send half, not their hand probably. And then the Lulu and the Graveyard can then summon this. One thing that's also worth mentioning, which is really, really cool. Of course, you're going to be drawing during your opponent's turn. 
the field spell actually kind of works. You're going to have all these defense position monsters, so this actually is still a pop. Also, you have like five defense position monsters here. Like, this should probably be in defense, obviously. Uh, your opponent is losing, I think, 100 attack for every single one in defense position. So, your opponent is getting over probably nothing, and you also, like, kind of have this pop. Like, this field spell is, like, actually really, really relevant uh, for this deck. I think that's kind of amazing. I had draw my hand. That's pretty cool. There's Effect Veiler off the top, and then Dragoon. <laughs> And then obviously I have the Shadal. So you can kind of see there that uh, this is a really unique deck, really interesting, something I really wanted to show off. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Other than that, that's going to do it for today's video, and I'll see you guys next time.